Hello again. Welcome to today's attempt of a double dabble puzzle. Each tile at the bottom could stand for either of the two letters that's on it. So for example, if I typed store, that's how it would have come across. But you'll notice this could also spell snore. And in fact, if that second tile goes green, I won't actually know if it's an N or a T that is meant to go in that position. As it happens, it's neither. We've ruled out a couple of vowels, the O and the E, as well as several other letters. So we're going to have to try out some new ones of those, aren't we? A, I, or U we've got left. Let's test. Oh, I don't know what a sensible thing to, to test is. How about cramp? No, because we need to use the L. So we'll go for crawl. Oh, we are making good progress. But nothing is in the right position, which might make it quite a bit harder. Um, we could have an SH ending, but then we'd probably want a vowel to go before it, and we can't use the A in that position. So, I suppose it could be Marsh. I think that's not been ruled out yet. Oh, that is harsh, isn't it? Which is the word I'm going to go for next, and I'll be in trouble if this is wrong. Oh, but it's not wrong. That could have been a three. That was very unlucky. Really happy to have worked out the possibilities there, because with so many yellows, I mean, I didn't know if it was an L or an S, a G or an R, so lots of possibilities. So quite relieved to have got it in four, to be fair. That is double double. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.